People often ask, is it possible to get overspin on a follow shot where the spin rate of the ball is greater than the natural roll rate? Well, this video tries to address this question. This is a follow shot with a fairly large tip offset. First notice how the cue ball hops. It's actually in the air after tip contact. Also notice how the tip deflects away from the ball and then vibrates after impact. The miscue limit is about half the radius above the center of the ball. Here you can see what happens if you try to hit much beyond that limit. This is a close-up of the resting point of the ball on the cloth. We've put down a piece of masking tape and marked it with a permanent marker and the ball has a spot on it and currently the spot and the mark are aligned. With a natural roll shot there should be no relative motion between the spot on the bottom of the ball and the mark on the tape when the ball is first struck. So with an overspin shot, if we have more spin than roll, the spot on the ball should actually move backwards relative to that mark on the table. Here the cue ball is struck near the miscue limit and you can clearly see the backward motion of the spot relative to the tape. So here we are getting overspin with this follow shot. Now when a rolling cue ball hits an object ball, we most certainly have overspin. The cue ball stops in place, delivering all of its forward speed to the object ball. Then the overspin takes over, creating friction which accelerates the ball forward. 